4 of my series on how the pyramids generated electromagnetic energy. This is from Physics Central, uh, an article from July 23, 2009, entitled Electricity from Salty Water. Physicists began exploring the idea of extracting energy from mixing fresh and salty waters, a process known as salination, in the 1970s. They found the energy released by the world's freshwater rivers as they flowed into salty oceans was comparable to each river in the world ending at its mouth in a waterfall of 225 meters high, according to a 1974 research paper in the journal Science. So then just imagine the Nile River flowing into the Mediterranean, and there would just be a massive amount of mixture of salt water and fresh water. So you would have this energy source there multiplied many times with the pyramids on both sides of the Nile using it to generate energy. And then the article goes on. Preliminary evaluations confirm that the setup can be scaled up to a very big plant suitable for powering whole cities. Scientists agree that Brogelio's, Brogelio's concept is sound but are cautious declared practical on a large scale. I don't see any reason why it should not work, said Golgatsi, director of Drexel Nanotechnology. Capacitor desalination has been demonstrated and commercialized, and this can be called reverse capacitor desalination. It appears to be a logical approach. approach. Um, and then George Crabtree, a senior scientist at Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois, said he likes the device extracting energy as immediately usable electricity. He sees some difficulty, but he thinks it might be workable. So now the idea we're seeing here that I'm trying to put across is there are multiple avenues, multiple avenues for the ancients to have drawn electricity from the earth, from the water, from the uh, where the uh, Nile River <coughs> met salination. And they could have used one or all of these processes since they were far more advanced than us. I'm guessing that they combined all of these processes to uh, draw electricity uh, out of the earth.